Hi, welcome, welcome to Trichopedia. Here, I'm going to solve a question on supernode. That is, solving supernode with nodal analysis. Let me show you the question here. The question is given as, find current through 2 ohms resistance. This is the current we need to calculate. So generally how we do, we, what we will do is, first we will assume ground, then we will assign the node voltages V1 and V2, and then we will write KVL equation at the super node, so that you will get one equation. After that we will write nodal equation by shorting the voltage source, so that you will get one more nodal equation. So by solving those two equations, we will get V1 value and V2 value. After getting V2 value, you can solve for I. I is equals to V2 by 2. Let me show you the procedure and answer. Here is, here is the procedure, try to observe. The first step I went for super node. I have got one equation. Second step, I went for nodal equation by shorting the 6 volt source. I have got one more equation. I have solved them, two equations. I have solved the two equations. So I have got V1 and V2. Substituting V2 value, I have got 3.73. So this is the procedure generally we do if you want to get the current value by supernodal procedure. So it will take at least one and a half minute. Instead of doing this procedure or instead of going through this procedure, let us opt the different procedure that is nodal procedure only. Instead of doing super nodal procedure, let us do nodal procedure only. So what I do is instead of assuming the ground at the bottom, I will assume the ground, I will assume the ground at the top at this point or you can assume the ground at this point also. So assume the ground at the top and select this node voltage as V and write nodal equation so that you will get the answer so simple so no need to do three steps in in one step we will finish it we can finish it see here i did i assumed this as ground then later i have mentioned this voltage as v then i have got v plus 10 by 4 v by 3 v minus 6 by 2 v plus 20 minus 6 by 6 so this is the equation i've got solve it you will get v value and after getting V value, solve for I. What is I? That is minus I3. So minus I3 will be V minus 6 by 2. So let me show you that the solution completely. So here is the solution. I have solved for V and then I have substituted V value in I3 equation. I3 is minus, uh, I is equals to minus I3. So I have got the same answer. So in, instead of solving in three steps, we can do it in one step. So it will reduce your time. I think it is clear for everyone. Thank you. Thank you so much. Have a nice day.